<sighs> so catch me mid. Oh god. <laughs> Bro, this keeps falling. Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. In today's video, I am going to be doing a product review for you guys. I am going to be testing out the Blendiful from Tati Beauty. When I first saw her promoting this product, I, well, this beauty tool, I was like, this is the perfect little thing to carry around when I am out and about and the sweat starts kicking in. I can just like, you know, tap, tap and blend, blend because I usually carry around this brush, but this is, I prefer to carry this around. It's just the size is convenient and I feel like it's like a good material for that purpose. So then once the beauty tool came out, I started seeing a lot of beauty gurus um, do a product review on their YouTube and they were putting, you know, their foundation on, their concealer, their powder. And I know Tati did mention in her video that it was for that purpose, but I bought it for with another like purpose in mind. But I was I was like surprised. I was like, wow, it applies everything so good. And I decided that at the end of the day, these beauty gurus like you know they're influencers this is their job to promote you don't know if they're actually getting paid for it i know they they have to mention that it's a sponsored post but whatever i was like they're professionals they could apply makeup with literally anything you could give them a napkin and they'll apply makeup with a napkin and it'll look super good so i thought it would be a good idea of someone that is a not makeup artist a non makeup artist and a non rich influencer could you know give it a try and that person is me so here i am we are going to test this beauty tool out and i am filming on my iphone so i hope the quality is good and i hope it's like not tilted because i kind of think it's tilted but i'm a little weak so i don't know if it's tilted or not but we'll see we'll see um if it is tilted i'll try to fix it but yeah so i hope the quality is good and Let's see if this actually works. All right, so I already put on my brows. I already moisturized my face. All right, I don't know where to start. So I obviously, I am not a professional makeup artist, guys. So I don't know no technical terms. So just, you know, follow along with me. So this is my go-to foundation makeup forever. I've been using it for years. And I actually just bought another one, the matte velvet skin that I am testing out. And once I put it on a few times, I do want to share like what I thought about it. So far, I've only used it once, but that was like before my facial. So my face was not at its best. So I wanted to give it another try. All right, so I think I'm going to do this... Um, I'm gonna, in one side, I'm gonna just put it first on the skin and then on the other side, I'll try it like on the actual thing. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. And by the way, I use shade 305. I'll never forget that shade because obviously it's my Miami number. Okay, this is like the first time I put makeup on since I did my facial last week. So I'm hoping it looks real good. I hope this quality in the camera is good too. All right, guys, here we go. Okay. I don't know whether to tap or like glide. Damn, I wish I had a closer mirror. My mirror is like far away. Are you guys seeing this right now? Hmm. Huh. I don't know what to think. Hmm. So this is how it looks on the on the blended foam. So I don't feel like I don't think there's like you know what I use I usually use um the beauty blender to put on my foundation and I feel like more product gets stuck in there than this actually. So that's good. You don't feel like you know the product is going to waste. Um, I have to get a closer look because I don't, I don't know. Hmm. It actually looks nice. I, huh. I don't know how I feel about it. Alright, let's try it here. 
Okay, I'm just gonna glide. I don't feel like the tap tap is working. All right, so now we're gonna go on to this side and this side I'm actually gonna put it onto Blendiful. Do you guys see that mark right there? I burned myself with my hair iron. I hope that mark leaves, man. I don't even know how it happened. I just know I screamed. Okay, so I put it on here. All right, let's glad. Hmm, damn. I actually think I like it this way better for sure. For the sure. Oh my god. Oh, it's not even hiding. Guys, I was going through my old YouTube videos and I was cringing. I, my Miami accent and the way I was speaking was on full throttle. I know I'm still super Miami, but those old videos, they were something for sure. And then I was like so tempted to delete, but you know gotta show where you came from you know started at the bottom now we're here and they have a lot of views so it's embarrassing but whatever i'm used to getting ranked on i'll rank on myself too so it is what it is okay Damn, these little cheap ass clips are not holding my hair back I don't know how it's looking. I don't know what to think. All right, let's see. Hold up, let me blend better. Hmm. Is it gliding? I think it's gliding good, actually. Am I the only one who has trouble like filling this part in? I don't know why. I kind of sometimes forget. I'm not gonna put anything on my eyelids because I don't want to mess up my lashes. Okay, all right, I have to get closer so let's see how it can look. Mmm. All right, everything seems to be nicely tucked in. I definitely like how it apply better when I put the the foundation on the blender full and not on my skin i think it glided better in so if you guys can see so i think on this side I look better i hate this profile my face is tragic i look like a witch it makes my chin look big too all right so this is what we got with foundation i'm liking it i'm really 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 liking it I feel like it's so weird like when I'm filming on my phone, I don't know whether to look at myself when I'm talking or at the little camera. I know, it's very weird. Okay. All right, foundation done. What time is it? Because I have to go to work soon. Okay. We're good on time. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use, da -da 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 -da. All right, I'm gonna use Shape Tape. This is my go-to concealer for special occasions, not for like an everyday basis, which I don't put concealer on any. I used to have this thing that every time I couldn't leave my- <laughs> My thing just fell, okay. Backtrack that. All right, I hope it's in the same position, okay. <laughs> this cheap ass thing, man. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I used to have this thing that I would not leave my house without putting eyeliner and concealer. And then, and then I just got lazy and I, I don't care anymore. I leave the house bare face and it's the best feeling in the world. So, when I do go out and I do put makeup on, this is my go-to. When I, usually like when I film or something and I don't want to waste my good makeup because it's pricey. I use this and I've been using it for years and I'm sure it's not even that good and there's like better products out there, but it is what it is. This is Neutrogena, Neutrogena something, whatever. That's what I use when I am being cheap and I don't wanna waste good makeup because I'm filming. But right now I'm gonna be a little bit bougie. So I'm going to try not to waste so much concealer, but 
We're gonna waste some. make such ugly faces when we're doing makeup oh my god i don't want it on my eyes i mean on my lashes okay so we're gonna use another corner of this where's my little blunt oh it's like literally blending in okay we're gonna use damn i messed up i should have used that corner whatever all right here we go okay i don't know why i was tapping i should just glide i think i like it better if i glide I didn't even put that much concealer on. Your girl don't want to waste it. I'm rolling on a budget. Okay. And I wish I could just put like some good music in the back. I was like jamming before, but this copyright is so annoying. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Honestly, I think I like it. Oh my god. Okay. Let me get a closer look. Is it really blended? Huh. Honestly, I really, really like how it's applying. And I. Yeah, so this is how it looks. Oops, dropped it. Um. This is how it looks on the thing. By the way, this could be washed. Um, let me read, I forgot what it says. Cleaning instruction, machine wash, and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soap water, rinse thoroughly and blot dry. Do not bleach, do not dry clean. Okay, gotcha. Damn, I got the already foundation on my thigh. All right, so I am liking how this looks. Okay, now we're gonna powder it up. So I also saw these beauty gurus putting on their cream, um, not cream foundation, their, um, their contour, but I do not use cream contour. I have tried. It just wasn't working right for me. So I do use the powder and my go-to is the Hoola Benefit one. Yup. That is my go-to, but we'll get there now. So I really can't test that out with this because I do not own cream contour. But I do own some powder, and powder is supposed to be good with it too. Um, should I use my little one? No, we're gonna do it all with the big one. All right, I actually just bought a whole new, my powder, the one I use is the Laura Mercier, 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 Mercy something, and translucent powder, of course. All right. Am I applying correctly? I don't know. I don't think that looks right. I think I'm, it's just, I'm using like a random corner. All right, we're gonna bake these eye bags. Back with a weird ass face, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. All right, we're baking. We're baking. I feel like one side is baking more than the other. It is. Okay, all right, we're baking. While that's baking up, one side more than the other, we're going to apply the brown bronzer. Sorry, I had to powder up some. <laughs> it's so unequal. Guys, I'm not a professional here. She tried to do my makeup in like 30 minutes. Sometimes I take more. And you're probably like, Jennifer, what is that brush you're using it's for highlight? Yep, yes it is. I own really cheap brushes. Not that they're cheap, it's just it's very limited and I just use one for like something that it might not be meant to be used for. But I don't care. As long as it gets the job done, it's all right for me. All right, we're gonna put it here. Oh, I should have like put some concealer on that. Whatever. It is what it is right now. I bought a cream that um it's supposed to lighten up marks. Hopefully that works. And if it does, I'm gonna share it with you guys. Contour here. I really want to know how tragic this is looking. 
just I'm so far from like the mirror, it's a little hard. Just making excuses. I just don't know how to do no I'm kidding, I know how to put makeup on. Okay. Here console big eye forehead. I would throw more contour but it is what it is so that's usually the only places i contour because i have a really skinny nose so i cannot contour more because if not you're looking like a toucan um okay put the powder away oh actually no i'm not gonna put the powder away yet because i am going to contour i do put um the translucent powder in that area right there and i am using the blender for as well it applies powder really well. Really, really well, I do have to say. Um, and what else am I missing, guys? Obviously, eyeliner and some mascara on the bottom, not the top, because I have lashes on, but just not gonna do that right now. I am going to put some highlight. If I find my highlight brush, that is probably not meant for highlight, but I use it for highlight. Um, and if I find my highlight right here, I have to like invest in more highlights right now. I've been using this one global glow from Mac. Um, it gets like that, like a, a bronzy type finish. I don't know. Like, I think it looks just so nice and it's not like wow in your face. Like that gold that is like, tra, tra. no, it's no tra, tra. it's very delicate. Whatever the word is. I don't know if you can even see it on the camera. Just put more bronzer on this side than this side. Going around. I forgot to take off the powder out of my eyes that were picky. So now it's mixed in with my, of course, of course. Brush this out real quick. Not good nobody saw that this is actually like my first makeup tutorial this is actually my first makeup tutorial but this is not really a makeup tutorial i am not a makeup artist this is just me trying blendiful this is the purpose of this video and then we'll see how it looked okay you're like wow she put highlight like five times on that side yes i did because i probably brushed it off with the powder brush all right and now we are going oh i usually actually um put translucent powder in this area might as well do it because since i am testing out the blendiful might as well do it because these are the areas that my t-zone obviously the one that sweat the most it's my what he is and the ones that creases up which will be like over here always put it there um I, I see it in the mirror but i don't know if you guys can tell here there's actual powder there you know it's not invisible it's in there i am putting it on um should i put lipstick on meanwhile i bake i think i should uh, so yeah guys this is what I am. I don't know what I was gonna say. I need to get close to be able to put this on right now. Shoot. This is a mirror, okay. Let's see. I feel like I struggle so much um, with lips. I always have like one side that I make it bigger than the other one. Like I can never make them equal. So sometimes my mouth looks like it's sideways and bizarre so this is probably what i take the most time doing and right now i'm just half fasting it but sometimes i i really take my time with it and i don't put concealer on the side give myself a little pout but right now we're winging it good enough um let me do by the way the lip liner i was using is the color pop lippy pencil what's it called though called oh snap and this is the perfect color that goes with 
my go-to um, matte lipstick, which is from Too Faced, and it's called Child Star. I have yet to find one with similar like tone. Oh, I love it. It's like a pinkish, pinkish nude. It's so nice. This one goes really well with it. And I really like the ColourPop, um, in general, the ColourPop um, lip liners. They glide on very nicely. Um, where is my pencil to clean up? So before I used to just get this and go tra tra tra, but now I just like it's a little bit, a little bit on top. If my lips are not equal, I wouldn't be surprised. And I usually just tap tap around it. Why I do this? I don't know, probably saw it somewhere. And they probably said something that made a lot of sense and I just started doing it. Is it equal? Oh my God, one size bigger than the other. Never fails, it just never fails. I have to get like really, really close to the mirror <laughs> so I can be able to get it equal. Whatever, it is what it is. It's not equal. You guys get the point. All right, so we are going to brush off where I put translucent powder. All right. And this is my finished look. I do not put blush. I'm not a blush person. I do want to start incorporating it more in my makeup routine. This is my go-to look though. Um, but I guess I haven't like really searched for like a good color that I would like because I don't want it to pink, I don't want it too peachy, so I haven't really gotten into it. Um, but I eventually do want to find like a good color to put some color on my cheeks. So, guys, this is the finished look with Blendiful, and of course, this will be my little go to. Ta -ta. So catch me mid- Oh god! <laughs> Bro, this keeps falling. I can't, I can't with this. Back to what I was saying. Catch me mid bed. <laughs> Alright guys, I really, really, really liked how it applied. So all these beauty gurus were right. It applies very, very, very nice. Very nice. Um, let me get a closer look because from far away maybe it's nice, but from close it's probably tragic. No, no, no. No, it's very good. It's very nice. Like I did say though, I do recommend putting the product, at least for me that that's the best way it worked, putting the product actually on this and then gliding it rather than just putting it on your face and then gliding. Uh, it was a little bit more patchy that way to this side, so this side applied nicer. So I do recommend you do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this product review. Definitely suggest you to check these out. Um, it's pretty worth it. It was only $18 plus shipping. It was probably like 20 or something. But I don't think it's bad, especially for two tools that you get. One, you can just like either use it for like powder or something or just carry it around like what I'm going to be doing. But it does apply very nice. A lot of product does not stay stuck inside how it usually does with um, a beauty blender, beauty sponge. So it's, you know, product is not going to waste. So that is a plus. That is good. And I mean, I'm always open to trying new things. So, so this was definitely a good purchase. I do give it my thumbs up. If you guys do try it, let me know how it goes down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.